हेलो गाइस वेलकम टू माय यूट्यूब चैनल एन सी आर इंटरटेनमेंट सो एज प्रोमिस आई हैव कम अप विद अनदर वीडियो दैट इज फ्रॉम ए टी पी कमांड फ्रॉम बेसिक टू द एडवांस लेवल सो लेट स्टार्ट सो हेयर यू कैन सी दैट आई एम यूजिंग ए टू वी एम वन इज विंडो टेन वी एम एंड अनदर इज एंड्रॉयड नाइन बेस्ड ऑन द टैबलेट फोन सो both these vm are connected in a same network so they will be easily connect to each other so let me open a link where you can find all the adp commands and i will give the link in the description so this is the link github slash my name and then the adp so this is a github repository where you can find all the commands from basic to advanced so you can see that you can simply start the adb server by using adb start server but let me tell you when you type adb devices so the by default the adb uh, server will be started and you can also kill the server by adb kill server then if you want to uh, start the adb server via wifi first you have to start in the tcp ip mode this will work when you connect via in real devices uh, like in your own laptop you have to enter this command adb tcp ip and then the port number but i am using the vm so i do not need to enter in the enter into the tcp ip mode so i will directly type adb devices to check if any device is connected so the server is starting now and no device is connected so to connect a device i will type adb connect and the ip address so the ip address for that i will go to the android 9 vm and i will open settings here i will go to the network i will go to the system settings and the about tablet here uh, i can find the ip address that is 172.31.100.10 and uh, let me tell you another thing also that usb debug is already enabled that i have shown you in the previous video so the ip address is 172.31.10 and if you are using it in your own laptop then maybe you have to type the port number for time for in the vm i do not need to provide the port number for time 4 which is the default port used by the adb android debug bridge so my device is now connected and no prompt has been given in the android device but let's suppose if it was the first time then it will show in some prompts like allow usb debugging so to uh, when your device connect to a adb tool only first time it will show the prompt but on the second time onwards it will not show you the prompts like allow usb debugging so i will recommend you if you are a normal person layman person or normal user you do not need to enable the usb debugging by default i recommend you to keep disabled it so why i am saying this because in the next video i will show you a tool how an attacker can use a linux tool to exploit the adb tool so uh, we will come back to this video here uh, let me show you another commands also so i have shown the demo of adb connect i will not show you all the commands uh, by typing each one by one uh, so the video will be long so you can print the serial number also adb get serial number so this is a virtual device so it will be Uh, print the IP address. So I have to type it here. Adb get serial number. So as I told, the IP address will be printed. If it was the real device, it will show you the unique uh, serial number. You can also uh, restore your device, and you can get the Android cell by using Adb. So let me show you when I type Adb cell. from here uh, i have came back to the android cell so i have open a cell in the android and i can execute the command from the windows vm here 
so let me show you in detail so from uh, here uh, i am in the windows command prompt so when i type adb shell uh, i have open a shell in the android uh, device so every command that i have now performed here will be executed executed as a linux command so i have to type the linux command also the windows command will not work here you can see that system bin dot sh slash sh not found because it's a command to list the directory for windows so if i type ls uh, in the linux to list directory it will work here and another command that is pwd pwd to list the directory so now i will exit from it here and i will clear the screen and show you more commands here so if you multiple devices are also connected here you can also specify uh, by the argument minus s and the id id of the device if you uh, a real device is connected then you have to type the serial number and if a virtual device is connected or you have connected via ip address then you have to give the ip address with the port number and execute the command whether it is a shell one or you can get the get serial number it will uh, execute the command on that selected device so you can create the bug report also you can install an app it's a simple one and i hope uh, mostly of the viewers will know how you can install an app via adb how you can push a file so this is a command for push a file so let me show you uh, some examples of push a file and pull a file so let me see what uh, files are there so i will go to the documents or the downloads sorry so here you can see that uh, there are some files here so let me send you uh, this adb exe only to the android device via adb push command so for that i will type clear the screen and now i will type adb push adb.exe i will press tab to execute correctly and then the location where the file will be saved that is slash sd card if you know the full location you can type it here but i want to store it in the main block internal storage so you can um, type slash sd card so it will be saved here so you can see that one file has been pushed so i will go to the android 9 vm here and i will show you the file has been saved here so let me open a file manager here and in the ehp internal storage you can see that the adb.exe has been stored here so now let me pull a file also let's suppose i want to pull the file screen.png here and let me show you this file is not here in the current directory screen.png is not here I will clear the screen now I will post this file post this file from the slash SD card and the file name is screen dot PNG and it will save in the current directory or I will provide the full location of the directory where I want to save sorry uh, the command was adb pull so one file has been pulled let me show you you can see here now the screen.png is saved so this is all about the basic commands so you can also uh, play with the package manager that is called the pm uh, you can list the packages you can uh, disable an app so if you want to know the package name and if you want to know which are the app installed by the user and all the apps you can use this one 
so let me show you uh, by executing this command so you have to type adb let me show this window so that it will be visible here adb shell pm list packages minus 3 so you can see that uh, all the user installed app will be listed the file will not prom, uh, provide the argument minus 3 all the system app will be listed here their package name whether it is the setting apps or the calculator or the dialer so you can list the users also so you can try it by performing by yourself in your own uh, real android device or the vm so you can clear the application data also and now we comes to the logcat it is a, a utility provided by the ATP where we can see the logs generated by the android device you can see that we can uh, display current uh, display the current log buffer size by ATP logcat minus g let me show you So now you can see the current buffer size here. So let me tell you by using uh, this utility ADB tool you can perform uh, more commands that uh, you are not able to uh, see. You will be uh, So now here comes the uh, dump sheets that means dump the system information. So you can list all the active services so this video will be long if i will show you all the commands let me show you the interesting one like uh, display the contacts on the sim card for that we have to type adb shell dump sys and the sim phone book i do not want to disclose my contacts saved on this uh, virtual vm so you can show all the not notification listener and so on so for that i will write adb shell dump, uh, dump sys notifications that i can show you first i will clear the screen and type adb shell so uh, you can see that it will show you all the package name with their id user id You can also print the version of the specific app so here you can see that first we have to give the package name of the app and from the output it will grab the version name so let me copy it and clear the screen and again let me select uh, list packages let's suppose I want to know the version name of this one that is com.metasploit.stage so here I will paste the command and I will type the package name metasploit.stage and adb shell so uh, here the grab command will not work because it's a uh, linux command so i will delete this so here you can see that uh, all the details about the app has been disclosed here you have to scroll uh, up to see the version name you will find a uh, the version name also you can see that uh, the permissions have also disclosed here which permission has been given and uh, whether they are granted or not so here you can see that the version name but uh, the grab command will work in the linux one 
so you can see that uh, what you can do by using ATP tool you can dump the data for the battery also so now we can perform a uh, factory reset via AM that is the activity manager so you know you can open the settings also setting app let me open this so let me show you the uh, android vm where the file manager has been open and when i press this uh, enter this command setting app will be open so you can see the action here it has been executed so you can set the apn also the network settings also internet settings of the carrier provider you can start the preferred web browser also you can open the camera app or the video camera you can also open a url with your default browser so here i will type this one but remember to type the ATP cell first and it will open the github uh, website here so now you can see here uh, the github website has been opened in the google chrome that is the default browser set by the android view and you can display the imi number also this is a virtual vm so it will not work here you can see that you can trick the device that set uh, setup has been already been done uh, this setup means to the first time boot of the device where the it needs the google account you can also now it will so in the get prop means you get properties you can grab the model version version S, dot sdk in which version uh, the android device is using their manufacturing details hardware and the platform you can try the vibrator also obviously it will work in the real device you can open the settings for the specific app also so let me uh, try to open this one ADV cell and then the command syntax is wrong because I have to give the package name so again I will give the previous one that is com dot meta exploit dot stage. So here you can see that it have opened the uh, app settings of the B map here. So this is not a B map, this is basically a simple payload generated by the meta exploit, which will also I will tell you in the later videos. So you can change the settings also or rotation on or off. So you can see that every command you can perform by using ATP. So this tool has been developed for the developers but the attacker can also exploit this tool and can get the sensitive information from your device. You can see that how many notifications you have currently. So I will copy this one. I will type it here. It will cell and the command right now. Okay, so the grab again will not work in the windows, so it will display all the information regarding the notification. I have to manually find uh, this uh, notification report. So you can see that what information it will print. It's a long data you have to spend some time to analyze it so these are the information notification record it will be upside here
so you can see uh, you can get as much in detail so let me move forward otherwise this video will be longer so you can auto answer any call after the two seconds how much advanced command you can perform by using adb you can add a contact also so let me uh, try this one or i will choose the option number two copy adb cell and paste the command again i have to type the phone number here let suppose the phone number will be this one and the contact name will be will be voice match so here you can see that the name has been disclosed here and the also uh, execute the password commands so that's all about uh, this video i will see you in the next video with a tool i used to explore the adv tool till then see you next